Okay, another quick and dirty. This time we are asked to write it in exponent form and then evaluate. So in that order, we're going to turn it into exponent form. Then we're going to come up with a solution and we need to express our answers in rational form, meaning leave it in uh, exponent form or, or, or form that uh, is not necessarily this big long decimal answer. So let's take a look at our radical uh, situation here and how do we turn these into exponents. So if we have a number and it is being square rooted, and in fact sometimes not square rooted, but um, there is another root here, and then sometimes it'll have an exponent on its, on its own here, uh, like a z or something, we can write that with a fraction. So that can be written as uh, x to the power of z divided by y. And some people will use different letters depending on um, what kind of you know textbook you are using or what have you. So you might see an N and an M being used and those might actually even be in different spots than what I've written. So you might see something uh, like this. Uh, so it just depends really. It just depends really on uh, you know, which textbook you're using or who taught it to you and what letters you want to use. All right, so we'll start with the first question here. Obviously, the first one's the best one to start with. And we have a bracket that we need to deal with. So bed mass has to go inside the brackets. I'm going to rewrite my negative 216. Uh, to a certain power. So I've got negative 216 and instead of it being to the third root, it's to the power of one third. And so that's how you'll write third root as a exponent. If it was a square root, you'd use, you know, one half. Okay, and so not really much else I can do with that. I can't take the third root of negative 216 uh, because it's asking me to write it in pure exponent form first. So we've got a power to a power. Let's deal with that power to a power. And we multiply our exponents. So 5 times a third just becomes 5 thirds. Just multiply the tops. Uh, this is the kind of math that you need to be good at now to be able to move forward with the difficulty of the exponents and radicals. Uh, and so even though it is a negative number, we can still take uh, the third root after applying the power of 5 to it or vice versa. So this is the first part. This is the write in an exponent form. We've done as much as we can. There's no point in you know converting 216 and sort of into anything else like a base 2, 3, 4. Uh, we're just going to whip out our calculator and we're going to ask it what 216 to the power of 5 thirds is and it's in the 7,000s if I recall. And it is 7776, 7,776. And that's it. We're done that question. And we have expressed the answer in a rational form, a rational answer. So moving on, we've got the fifth root of something here. And we can take this entire fraction and write it as if it's to the power of 1 over because that is the fifth root, one fifth root. And this is 243. And just like other questions, now that power applies to the numerator and the denominator. So we can take the fifth root of 32, specifically negative 32, but we can also take the fifth root of 243, and we will independently do that in the numerator and in the denominator. And so the fifth root of the negative 32 is negative 2. And the fifth root of 243 is 3. And so the answer is negative 2 thirds, which is a rational answer. So we're going to leave it the way that we have here. All right, the last question, so seemingly the most difficult question, we have a fourth root. So this whole thing, and, and sometimes what, what kind of helps is to kind of mask it for yourself and just say, I've, I've got something to the fourth root. So that something is actually to the power of a quarter. 
But it wasn't just some thing. In fact, it was numbers. And so it is all, let me just get it down, to the power of a quarter. And we have choice now. Uh, we can multiply our power to a power and have a negative one quarter and try to deal with that. Or we can deal with the negative one exponent and reciprocate first, which is what I'm going to do. So we've got 81 over 16 to the quarter or to the fourth root. And so we've got 3 over f uh, 2. Actually, similar, very very close, because considering we had the fifth root in this question. So fourth root, pretty easy now that we've seen uh, the previous question. And so, I mean, if we really wanted to, we could write that as 1 and 1 half. But um, it's not necessary. We'll just leave it like this. And there you go, three quick and dirty questions for the exponent laws.